Okay. Did we all calm down? Are we are we good now? I'm not good at all, but that's fine. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking ride. But okay, let's let's move on. Well <laughs> here we go again. Was a little bit of peace too much to ask for? Gonna throw on Elden Ring, otherwise I won't survive this. Yeah, have fun with Elden Ring. Slap some booty for me. Yes, it was. <laughs> Oof, there she is. I guess I should go talk to her. I mean, what she said, defending the Kylie Taylor box, that was pretty cool. But still, does she seriously think she's going to get a nun to see things her way? Things like that, like that, it doesn't help. It never did. Just more fighting. Fighting and noise. That's all it ever leads to. You know what to do, Holly. Hey there. How are you doing? What do you think? Right on cue. So we're doing this again, huh? Well... What happened back there was pretty weird, wasn't it? Could also leave her in peace, kiddo. Yeah, that's an option too, but uh, she she feels like a goody two-shoes. Like, she, she wants peace and whatever, and she wants to be friends with everyone, and, you know, which would be okay if, you know. Weird. Uh oh uh, Okay. Um, maybe not the best choice of words. Nope. Great. This is awkward. Um... So... What are you up to? Seriously, Holly? Really? What's it to you? Nothing. I was just... Um... Wondering. Mom never liked it when I got angry. Said it reminded her of my father. She'd always say... Try channeling your anger into something more productive, Gabby. Pray. Read the Bible. I tried, you know. It's a good book with a lot of good ideas. But for some reason, you people like dwelling on some things more than others. Throwing the stones, for instance. So don't mind me. I'm just following her advice. I... I see. Helps if you find the big ones. Such as throwing, though. It's the nice, juicy crack you get when it hits something. You know what I mean? Mind if I recommend a target? I can't say that I do. Figures. <laughs> oh, boy. I gotta find a way to get to her. Or you could just leave her alone for, I don't know, a while. If I don't, she's just gonna fight with Adira again. I mean, that's gonna happen either way. There's nothing you can do about it. Ignoring me. What are those options? None of those help. <sighs> hey, I was thinking I might be able to help. Really? Yeah. I think I can get her to listen to me. Is that so? I can tell her that you're sorry, and then maybe we can just talk and clear up any misunderstandings. Uh, that's not... <sighs> Have her give me another lecture on how I'm a shitty person. N no, that's not... It won't have to come to that. Really? With people like her? you really think that, then maybe Adira isn't the only delusional one here. Why is she being so difficult? Look, we're both stuck here with her, and we're clearly not changing her mind. Fighting with her like this, it's just gonna make it hard for all of us. I just thought it might be better if we all get along. That's all. Please, just let me help you out. Mm. Help me out. 
hear that a lot back home. I hear it so often it doesn't really mean anything anymore. Hadira wants to help me, you want to help me. <laughs> For some reason, everywhere I go, people seem so eager to help me, especially when it suits them. Well, how about this? I'll help myself. And you? You keep to yourself. I... This isn't going anywhere, is it? <laughs> oh, would you look at that. All out of stones. Anyway, don't let me spoil the mood. After all, you seem to be doing just fine here. Oh boy. Well, that went well. She was lying. Still plenty of storms here. Okay. Well, she was not lying about that one, though. It does feel good, that crack, once the stone hits. Are we gonna turn psycho here and kill everyone, like... Like, are, are we going psycho like, like we did go psycho in, um... True Colors? That would be fun. We could go all Rambo on them. For the afternoon, we had prayer session, topped off with a lecture of feminine etiquette and the dangers of dating. All very insightful. All things I'm used to. Dinner was awkward. I let Grace and Gabriella, well, she just kept quiet. Would have been worse. That's also something I'm used to. Oh shit, here we go again. Already fast asleep. She makes it look easy. Was Gabriella messing around with my table? But I would have seen her if she... Never mind. There. That's better. Hmm. More prayers for the future, huh? At the end of the first book, right after Kylie had hosted the seance with the spirits of Witchwood, they had this huge celebration. Kylie chased flare sprites through the lantern marsh, wind in her hair, flying in and out of the great canopy. After that, she spent the rest of the night watching the shape-shifting murals of the Oaken Hall, drinking amber nectar and honey globes, surrounded by all the friends she made along the way. The night was peaceful and still. Dearest Heavenly Father, if I had to ask for something, anything, it would be something like that. Or not. What the hell, Holly? Seances and spells? Lying and witchcraft? Don't get distracted, Holly. Dearest Heavenly Father, I want to change. I want to be a better person. I am far from perfect, so I know I probably don't deserve a happy ending. But I am trying. And at the end of it all, if I try hard enough, I'd like something like that. A peaceful night, a smile on my face and a spring in my step. Walking through a forest, hand in hand with friends. Oh boy. And then what happens? You said it yourself. The Bright Queen's secrets died with the Archwitch Elaine. So, that leaves us with only one option. Kylie felt all the eyes in the room turn to her. You can't mean. Perdita piped up, hands shaking in fear. Seance spells are forbidden. To a bunch of mischief makers like ourselves, nothing is forbidden. Grab your spell keys, friends. It's a long way to the rotting wood. Tonight, we'll be speaking with the dead. Wood? 
Language, Liana. <laughs> okay. Shh, shut up and read the next chapter. I've got to see what happens next. Uh. I'm getting sleepy. What? Seriously? Just, just one more chapter. Remember what happened this morning? If you keep sleeping in, she's gonna get suspicious. Mm. Look, come on. We can continue reading tomorrow. I don't want tomorrow to come. I hate mornings. Liana. When I wake up late, she calls me lazy. Then I wake up too early, and she says I need more sleep. And when I do wake up on time, she just finds something else to complain about. <laughs> Look, just, just do as she says, okay? Hmm. I, I can even help you out. I've got your back. She'll listen to me. Don't worry. Hey, maybe we can. It's the same thing that's currently happening with Gabrielle and um, Adira. Was that the name? I, I forgot already. You say that. You always say that. Yeah, because I wish it would be true. <laughs> but when it comes Funny. down to it, you stand there with your mouth shut. You make it look so easy. You know? Hmm. Mom's perfect little angel. Yana. Look, I don't like it either. The rules. The lectures. Especially when she gets mad at you. But if you just do as she says, things can go back to normal. Normal for you? I want to go out and meet with my friends. I want to watch movies. I want to have some fun. For once. She lets us do those things. No, she doesn't. We watch her movies. We visit her friends. And if anything we want happens to be outside of what the stupid church thinks is good for us. Liana. What? It's true. Hmm. Give me a haunted forest and a seance spell any day. I'll have better luck talking to ghosts. Uh, all right. One more chapter. How's that? Chapter 19. The Wraith from the Walls. Philip? <laughs> uh. The forest loomed over them, dark and quiet. Kylie led the way, raising up a jar of flare flies. Purple leaves of the underbrush crunching against their feet. Well, you ruined the mood, Holly. I don't think there's something that's happening now. I'm, I'm getting a glass of water. Just make sure to be quiet. You don't want to wake them. Good job. Can't move. It's just like last night. Funny, the room seemed so dark at first. Okay, okay, deep breath, Solly. This is fine. This is normal. Hold on, panicking never helps. The more you try, the worse it will get. Just lie still. You will fall back to sleep soon. What was that? Ooh, red means carry all. Nothing can hurt you. Yeah, that's right. Nothing can hurt me. It's fine. It is fine. This is all fine. Well, that happened last time too, so... Everything is full of dirt and, you know, the black tears out of the monks' heads and stuff. Deep breaths. Just relax, close your eyes, and go back to sleep. Relax, Holly. Just relax. Just go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Please, I just want to sleep. Please. Please. It will all be okay. It's all fine. It's all fine. It is nothing. Yana, keep it down. 
always so noisy. <laughs> hey, Dad. Listen to this. Must have slept wrong, like I always do. Looks like I'm up early. Well, no sense hanging around here. And there's no way I'm going to back to sleep with that. Hello? Guess everyone's still asleep. This is kind of exciting, though. Oh, oh. It's just like these stories. Hero explore castles all the time. I wonder if it also has trap doors or secret passages hidden in the walls. I think I read somewhere that nuns used them during the war to hide. Maybe during my free time I could I could explore a bit. Maybe even forge a map. <laughs> Once the week's over, I'd have mastered the castle. Holly Beltron, the Lord of Dark Passages. Lone crowned queen of the castle. Sounds fun. Real fun. <laughs> that nun was right. This place. There is a special air to it. Hmm. Oh, it's another statue. There's just so many of them around here. Strange. I haven't noticed this one before. Do you like it? Adira, I didn't see you there. My dear, I've lived most of my life here. When sworn to the cloth, moving around silently becomes quite the habit. Uh... <laughs> Bit of a joke. Super funny. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I can be a bit slow sometimes. It's fine, dear. You don't need to humor me. Unfortunately, comedy is one thing the Bible doesn't cover too well. You don't say. But what I do know are the stories of our beloved saints. Oh god, here we go again. Saint Rosa de Lima. Are you familiar? Um, just a bit. Is that so? Y yes I've noticed you, Holly. Walking around the convent, observing our statues. I have a hunch that there's more to you than meets the eye. <laughs> well now, don't be shy. Tell me about her. I want to see what's inside that head of yours. Well, <clears throat> patron saint of the Philippines, also of florists, gardeners, and family conflict. She was born in 1586. Canonized in 1671. Feast day, August 30th. Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Hmm. Impressive. Well, back in school, each class was assigned a patron saint. I think it was in the fourth grade? We had a little painting of her at the back of our homeroom. Our Christian life teacher was super strict. Would call us up front, and if you got just one date wrong, then... Then there'd be hell to pay. Well, let's just say I made sure to never forget. <laughs> A relatable experience. Ah, <sighs> Mother Idolora was the same. I always had trouble with the years. All those numbers, they'd always get jumbled up in my head. Wait, the Idolora? You knew her? Knew her? <laughs> she was my mentor. Taught me everything I know. But oh, it seems I've given away my age. And here I hope to pass for a woman in her forties. <laughs> I... Uh, well, I didn't mean to... I told you not to humor me, child. Oh. Uh. <laughs> mm. Okay. But that's the thing now, isn't it? Mm -mm. Whether it's for the saints or for ourselves, we're always so obsessed with dates, aren't we? Why is that? <laughs> yeah... <laughs> when she's not giving a lecture, she's not so bad. 
What should I say? Mm. Try to impress her. <laughs> well, I guess as a people, we just like keeping things in order. It's like in the Bible. All those events that happen throughout history, they'd all blur together if we didn't have some way to keep track of things. <laughs> that is true. And trust me, as you get older, it gets easier to lose track of things. However, when it comes to saints, I always found their stories to be so much more interesting than simple dates. Though, it's comforting to know they're teaching you the right things over there. Others aren't as fortunate. And it shows. Mm. We each have our own little story to play out. Some are content to simply live out their lives. They fail to leave a mark on the world. You're gonna leave a lot. You're leaving a lot of marks already. You, you can make less marks if you want to. But some, those who rise up through extraordinary acts, well, they become saints. Statues such as these ensure they are always remembered. And when we remember them, we can strive to imitate them. Mm. So, what do you think of it? Huh? The statue. Oh, well, I... I should probably say... Looks like it's been seen better days. It's too bad, though. The paint's peeling off. Ah, uh, yes. And to think I just treated that one a few years back. It's very odd. No matter how many times I try to paint her, it all just comes right off. Must be the humidity. Mm hmm That's too bad. Though, despite everything, still she stands. I can relate. See the top of her head? It was meant to evoke the very special crown she wore. Small little spikes lined across the inside. Yeah, I remember that part. A crown of thorns. She really strived to be more like Christ. Yes. We all have our own ways of showing devotion. Uh, no, no. I, I I try not to bash on those people anymore. I did that like for an hour straight, and now I'm like, uh. it's really hard on me today. <laughs> well, the way I see it, glad we don't do that anymore, right? I'm so annoyed by this person. I'm annoyed by this whole situation. Glad we don't do that anymore. Yes. I'm... I'm glad as well. Though there is wisdom in suffering. But... But yes. We don't always have to go that far. So... Mm, no. I really need to restrain Simple myself. Acts. <laughs> Simple acts are enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. She gives you so many openings to debunk whatever they are trying to do here. This fucking makes me so angry. I am so angry. Stop it. Damn it. <laughs> this sure brings back memories. My theory is that it is projecting. I, sure, of course. Whenever That's part I found of it. myself overwhelmed with responsibilities. Mother Idolora would remind me of dear Rosa de Lima. <sighs> we all have our little crowns to wear. Wear yours with pride, Holly. I mean, yeah, that, that's part of why this shit is happening. At all. It's just, okay, I learned it that way, it has to be that way. It is the only way. It is, you know, closest to God, yada yada, blah blah. But they don't see that I 
Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's part of the whole process that, you know, she has been dealt this way and she's giving it this way because the, the, she thinks it's the only way that they can, you know, go to heaven and not have to go to hell. And I don't know. And that you have to... Yeah. Um, sure thing. Thank you. Glad we could talk. Oh, would you look at the time? Where is the other one? I'll meet you in the common hall in a few minutes. Last minute bathroom breaks and all that. It doesn't make it better, though. It doesn't make it better. Hmm. Crowns, huh? Well, doesn't look like she's enjoying it. Not in the slightest. It's just the whole fucking... <laughs> it, it, uh, a funny thing. Uh, it, it's basically a Teufelskreis. <laughs> and it's really funny because this is all about holy and God and, you know, heaven, hell, shenanigans. And, you know, whatever. It, it just... It, it probably will never end, sadly. It doesn't help that in... It, Currently in this world, we have like 500 different religions and they have their own steps of, you know, dealing with that kind of stuff. And yeah, it, it just doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Noise. No. Such a simple thing. The honking of car horns, the shuffling footsteps of a crowd, the whisper of a seatmate. It's easy to take this as the norm, but this place, this sanctuary, offers a very special silence, a very special sense of isolation, and I want the two of you to take advantage of that. Then stop beating us, your shit, and just shut the fuck up. How about that? When left to the sanctity of our own personal thoughts, well, we tend to encounter all sorts of things. Guilt, shame, self-doubt, but also love, understanding, insight. Yes, insight. God's very special insight. And who knows, you might even hear the calling. The calling? Why, yes. Oh, those were the days. And so, for today, I would like both of you to practice silence. Not a single word. Am I clear? Yes, sister. Silence and isolation. Thanks I'm good at. Perfect. Miss Gabriella. Are you asleep? Oh, sorry. I thought we already started. That's funny. Here we go. Please don't be coy with me, Miss Gabriella. I'm sure a woman of your age and upbringing would know the difference between following instructions to the letter and simple etiquette. Don't you agree, Miss Beltran? Could you leave me out of this? Damn it. Again, again, again. Why do I always have to do this? I'm confident we can all tell the difference, Sister Adira. I'm pretty sure it was just a harmless joke. Isn't that right, Gabriella? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's go with that. As I've said before, I can only do so much, dear. The rest is up to you. Going back to what I was saying... On your booklets, you will find prayers that you may read silently during these hours. Also, take note of the reflection questions at the end of each segment. At the end of the day, we will have a group sharing session. I expect productive and insightful answers from the two of you. Oh boy, I hate that. Very well. I have certain matters to attend to. However, I'll be checking up on you too regularly. Uh-huh. Miss Beltran, see to it that Miss Rivera behaves herself. I'm not her fucking parent. Could you just not be that 
sneak this in. What the fuck? Just don't, just shut the fuck up and don't say anything. What's the issue here? Ugh. Yes, I will. And why do you answer, goddammit? I hate every character in this game. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Thank you, dear. Hey, Yomi. Good day to you. Balls. Sure. Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Also, happy Thursday. I hope you're doing well. Oh. Is that... Is that a Walkman? I haven't seen one of those in... So many years. At least 15. Yeah, yeah. En enjoy your Tekken training. Beat him up. Yeah, Walkman was for cassettes, right. Yeah, er everything is okay. It's really hot, so don't forget to drink. Like, uh, having the slide open here and, you know, the, the buttons and shit. Oh, God. What a fucking time that was. Yes. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's a, it's a disc man. Oh. Oh, boy. How'd you manage to sneak that in? Prison pocket. Why? It's just a Walkman. I'm no music expert, but I'm pretty sure whatever you're listening to is not gonna fly by Adira. Are you gonna snitch or what? <sighs> Looks like you caught me. All of you must know. I replaced the cover. Nothing but clean and wholesome Christian songs here. <laughs> when people are always on your case. Learn a thing or two about hiding things. She just keeps on pushing it, doesn't she? That's actually not a bad idea. Still. You're gonna snitch on me? <laughs> I'm just saying, if Adira catches you... If she catches me. Unless you're gonna do something about it. So, are you? N no! Look, I'm just... Looking out for you. If she finds out, she'll confiscate it. Yeah, everyone... Everyone fucking sucks. <laughs> it's just how it is. I mean, sure. I mean, she's just as a teenager as she is. You know? But, you know... She's trying to do good, she's trying to be herself, and Adira is trying to put their stamp on both of them. That, that's, you know... Just like she confiscated your book. <laughs> that's what happened, right? Y yeah, but that's not... What book was it again? Kylie Taylor, right? Not exactly wholesome Christian material, is it? It's not... It's not that bad. Well, it's not what they think. Witchcraft, seances, magic spells... Satan's way of corrupting the youth! <laughs> <laughs> so, are they right? No! No, they're not. Ever consider that they might be wrong about all the other things? Uh, of course. I... Mm. Look, I'm not like that. I'm not like them. I'm reasonable. Really, no. Could have fooled me. You come here. With that nice little smile on your face. Got your Bible verses memorized, wearing your Sunday best. You even make the sign every time you pass by a cross. You know... Do I do that? I hadn't noticed. Then, you get up in my face every time I break the rules. Rules which you say you don't believe in. So, whose side are you really on? You know, this is unfair to you. She already has a bunch of uh, fucked up trauma with this stuff and she's doing all that things more as a reflex, as, you know, self-preservation rather than actually, you know, trying to be a dick about it. I mean, she should know about that too, but... 
Why do I always have to choose a side? Why can't I just be? Hmm. <laughs> Why do I have to choose a side? Okay, neither nor here nor here. Here nor there. Achievement unlocked. Okay. So that was an achievement thing then. Look, I just mm. don't like getting into trouble. I see. That's the worst place to be, isn't it? You keep your head low and you just end up going with whatever causes you the least amount of pain. In the end. That makes you either a liar or a coward. <laughs> How dare she? You think it's just that easy, don't you? <laughs> Did I strike a nerve? Not used to being called out, are you? I... <laughs> I can't believe I have to deal with this. Well, how about you? What are you trying to accomplish? Atira's been doing this for years. You really think all your sass is enough to change your mind? They don't change their minds. That's just how it works. There's no changing her mind. I know that. It was never about that. It's like... Look, I don't need to explain it to you. But at least at the end of the day, I'm standing up for myself. That's all that matters. <laughs> what is with all this noise? You are disrupting the liturgy of the hours. You are looking like the devil. Just saying. Um. Damn it. Now look at what you did. Quick, Holly. Think of something. Mm. Oh, I'm really sorry. We were just... Did not the Mother Superior explicitly forbid you to speak? Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> the simple virtue of obedience. Is that so difficult to grasp? Of course, sisters. Don't worry, it... it won't happen again. Yeah, what she said. Won't happen again. <laughs> now, there, there, Sister Reyna. We can't expect everyone to take quickly to the discipline asked of the Edelorian Order. Give it time. The Mother Superior will smooth out all those foul little edges. <laughs> now where was I? Ah, yes. After the liturgy, we'll be meeting with Father Sibula, so make sure that... Jeez, what rosary beads got stuck up their asses? And as for you, you were pretty quick to get on your knees and grovel. I'd be impressed if it wasn't so... predictable. A coward it is, then, eh? Shut up. She should just... shut up. Tell her to shut up or slap her. What? <laughs> so... Mm, I don't think we are the... physically aggressive... person. So we're gonna tell her to shut up. Yeah. Go on, Holly. Shout it to her face. That's what you want to do, right? What's the matter? Mom, Dad, even Liana. They all used to shout at you. Don't you get a turn? Excuse me. I've got to go to the bathroom. Hmm, okay, I see. Interesting. Of course you didn't go through with it. You never do, do you? Even when you want to. You'd just rather keep your head down and say you're sorry. That's just the way things are, aren't they? And that's probably why she's right. They are all right. I hate this. Else should I know? I just do these things. I just have a way of doing things, a system. It works. Hey Shinza, nice to see you. Thank, thanks for thanks for the lurk door. 
I hope you all are doing well. Uh, happy work day. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really sorry to hear that you're having to work. But thank you very much. Okay, so that's the reason why she doesn't do what I say, because we are not her, per se. We're just, you know, a possible motivator, and we're trying to push through the abuse, and through the, you know. No, that's not true. This, this has always worked for me. What ha what's up with Liana? Like, so obviously something happened, right? Shut up. I don't want to talk about that. Coward or coward? Hmm. Coward. Stop it. Stop it. Coward, coward, coward. Coward, 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 Shut coward. Up. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Damn it, Holly. You're making a pretty big fool of yourself right now. The plants here. All rotting. Not at all like Witchwood. That's a typo. It's supposed to be with an Y. I think. Where the dire oaks grow as tall as skyscrapers. And the sky blossoms shine with the colors of sunset. And there I go again, thinking about these stupid little things. Oh, could it be that our MC, uh, main character has like a psychosis or something, considering the second voice in the head? Yeah. I, th I think it's something like that. I, not specifically like that, but I feel like we are less the, we are less the main character and we're more like the... I guess a part of the brain, if you want so, like, not not necessarily another voice in the head, you know, we're just a part of the decision making and her, and her issues she had with the family and whatever happened with Liana, just, you know, shut off that sense of, you know, I'm listening to what my brain says because my brain faulted me and someone came, was damaged or something, you know? In that case, you should have slept, Gabby, yeah. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I, I, I bet it's something like that. Stupid, stupid distractions. Maybe I'm fooling myself. Is everything all right, dear? <laughs> oh, yeah, everything's fine. I totally forgot about you. Is that so? Well, let me tell you, I think I'm quite sharp when it comes to these things. Blessed are those who cry. For they shall laugh. <laughs> there now, tears are nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, tears have been known to have a healing power to them, especially when it comes from someone very, very holy. I'm, I'm not. I, I wasn't crying. It's just. It's just. I came here to start over, and I. I don't know what I was hoping for, really. It all seems real silly now that I'm saying it all out loud. I guess... I guess I just wanted things to be... different. And at first I thought it was. I mean, things definitely looked different. Hallways are huge. There's paintings and statues everywhere. Not at all like home. All still feels the same. Different coat of paint, same script. And no matter how hard I try, I'm just stuck doing all the things I usually do. And it's just reminding me of things that I want to forget. Why am I doing this? I really should not be saying all of this out loud. Even if she is a nun, I've just met her. 
Well, it's not like I'm mentioning anything specific. Well, I might know what that's like. I never really got along with my family. <laughs> they thought I was a bother. A big, dumb nuisance just wasting space in the house. But then, when I stepped through this convent's large wooden doors, well, I felt like I could start fresh. Become someone new. <laughs> really? That's... That's pretty cool. That... That hit surprisingly close to home. Moving away from your family by joining a convent. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't all heavenly choirs and harps right away. Just like you, I was quite a handful to deal with. Oh, I was so chatty. My sisters said they could hear my laughter from the other end of the convent. I'd forget the prayers, was late to meals. One time, I even spilled soup all over Sister Raina's habit. Oh, she gave me hell for that one. I suppose what I'm saying is, these things take time. I... I guess. Hmm, what else? Oh, yes, she said to always top it off with an anecdote. Oh, I've got one. St. Mary of Egypt. Have you ever heard of her? Um, yeah? Not sure where, when she was born. But her feast day is April 1st. Veteran saint of chastity. You see, in the early years of her life, she used to... Um, well, <laughs> let's just say she was quite sinful. In fact, you see, she, she was a... Uh, ah, thief! Yes, that's it. No, she wasn't. She was a prostitute. But once she entered one of the great churches of Jerusalem, she too underwent a great change. In fact, in the final years of her life, she was said to possess miraculous powers. I mean, the setup was that. Obviously, Jules. Wherever she went, the sun would shine, birds would sing, she would walk on water like it was solid ground, and even talk to lions. They were her adorable little guardians. You could say it was almost like... magic! Um... I'm not sure if that's exactly how her story went. Well, she is trying. And so, um, what I'm saying is that with faith and the help of God, we can wash away the sins of the past, like they never happened. And just like her, in our new life here, we can start anew. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> Sorry, not the best at telling stories. But the Mother Superior always says we can look to them for inspiration, even in the darkest of times. And of course, there's always prayer. If you ever find the burdens of the world too hard to bear, just try the Hail Mary. Trust me, it helps. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep that in mind. She may not be the best at giving advice, but she is nice. Hey, um, thanks. I appreciate the help. Honestly, it's... It's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> now then, this is a holy place, not a sad place. Cheer up. Jesus loved nothing more than the laughter of children. Um, I... I guess I'll try. There you go. Keep that angelic little smile. It suits you. Oh, was I smiling? I didn't notice. I guess I was. Well, I guess I gotta go back in there. Luckily, Adira did say today was a day of silence. As long as I don't make eye contact and avoid saying anything, I can enjoy the quiet. And then, maybe after a while, maybe things will change. Maybe. <sighs> no, we can't. Here is Heavenly Father. 
The recollection has been going splendidly. We've just finished another productive day. Though I have to admit, it has been challenging. Some aren't as cooperative as others, but I find that every now and then, taking a little break to work on the statues helped me ease my nerves. Oh, oh dear. Another crack. There, there now. Oh, this won't do. Perfection. Only perfection. Statues are easy. They don't talk back. They are receptive to change. And if I don't like how, like how it turned out, well, I can always start over. Fade away the flaws with a brand new coat of paint. Until it is perfect. After you had suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Ah, <sighs> good and simple work. But of course, I am still very thankful for this opportunity to pass on your teachings. It's just that, well, perhaps it has been a while. <sighs> Spending too much time in silence. It makes every little noise seem louder. Hey, Dark. <laughs> Happy Thursday. <laughs> oh, yes, it's the other German. <laughs> and there's another German in chat, too. So, a lot of Germans. <laughs> How are you? I hope you're doing fine. Just look at me. Here I am, complaining like an old fool. No, 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 no. Here we improve. We become better day by day. Doing not sure? That, that, that's a... Ouch. That, that, that's a way to live, I think. <laughs> I'm doing good today, thank you for asking. We are playing a video game that makes us very aggressive at the moment. For the past two hours, so far. <laughs> Rihanna, what was that? We will find out after our break. 